Hi guys, it's uh, me again, just checking in. It's been a while, <laughs> but I've been really busy and really not too good, so um, that's why there hasn't been a recent vlog. Um, since the procedure, I've had no change in the pain, in that it was it's as painful now as it was before so the um, the procedure hasn't done any good um, to be honest I don't know what comes next so um, it might be some more injections, it might be something else that might just give up on me um, but I won't know that until the 26th boo so, um, yeah, I've been really busy working on stuff for the exhibition. Um, I'm planning for it to be about September time, um, mainly because I've just got a lot on at the moment and I want to make some good quality pieces to go up. So I'm thinking it's going to be not just anime art, but Japanese-inspired art, so I can show pieces like this. Which is the like real silk, so um, maybe who knows at the moment. And this came through the post today. It is more pro markers, so I can get to work on the uh, cat flat work and some waterproof fine liners. Because I'm fed up of the ones that I brought that say they're waterproof and they're not. So, yes, I'm happy about that. The main thing I'm cheery about at the moment, which came as quite a shock yesterday, is that my mum came home with a new kitten. Yes, just decided I'm having a new kitten. Um, when I first got Dobby, um, my mum's friend, her daughter, um, who I'm, I know and, and I take shopping and stuff, um, I used to tutor her, um, she got a little baby kitten around the time I got Dobby and uh, mum had been trying to get a kitten for me before we went to look at the animal shelters but there weren't any available now my mum was around at Janet's last night her friend and the woman came in and the little girl, her name's Charlie she turned around and said oh this is the lady with the kittens and she said yeah um, got some left and mum went I'll have them yeah, so uh, we've ended up with a, a little boy cat who's uh, all white except for a dark mark just above his eye, near his ear, I think it is. And he's also got like a grey, like stripy tail. So mum wants to call him Hamlet and it's mum's cat. So Hamlet it shall be. But I've always wanted a little white kitten called Malfoy. <laughs> can we say obsessed much um, but yeah I've always wanted that and um, yeah I can't help but call him Malfoy now because I just think he's got the dark mark <laughs> uh, I read far too much fan fictions um, but yeah I'm calling him Malfoy and mum's calling him Hamlet so it's gonna be one very confused kitten but um, yeah so that's really, really cool. We've got a new kitten, new addition to the family. But Dobby's not talking to me at the moment. Not that he talked much before, but um, he won't let me fuss him at the moment because of the new kitten being in the house. He's like, nope, don't want to know. So, silly bush cat. But, yeah, I have been doing a fair bit. I finished reading... Um, I brought some mangas. Um, one second. Yep, 
this is one of them, um, Beastmaster, and I really got into it, and I was really sad to find out that it was only two volumes long, so two books, and I was just like, no, I want more. But um, really, really good book, uh, Beastmaster by, I'm not going to get this right, Kaisuke Motomi. Ta-da! Can you see that? Yeah, that's my bad Japanese speaking. Bad, bad, bad. But yeah, um, I got one piece of the exhibition done that I'm not showing anyone yet. Um, I have been stretching watercolour paper ready for more um, paintings. There's the monthly manga um, art competition on DeviantArt and I think this month's um, contest is flowers. So I'm thinking if I can incorporate, I've already got an idea of what I'm going to do and I'm going to do paintings based on books or famous like um, stories. So I was thinking Alice in Wonderland, the flowers, the shrunken Alice, you know, and trying to fit that into it so it can be used both in the contest and the exhibition. But I was also thinking of um, doing others. So... Um, I had a whole list of them, stuff like Harry Potter and Twilight and you know the stuff that's caused like almost it's become like almost a cult or really popular. Um, I had a list of them and I've forgotten stuff like Dracula and uh, like Wizard of Oz, stuff like that um, try and fit it up like in so that it looks like oh, I dropped something. Um, so it looks like it's based on books because it's going to be shown in a library and if I can you know show stuff like that people might go oh yeah I haven't read that in a long time so like Peter Pan, Peter Pan's another one um, all the classics that are just slowly fading away at the moment I'm thinking of incorporating them into the paintings but um, we shall see so Sorry I look a bit crazy in what I'm wearing and stuff today. Um, I'm going out later to the fair, which um, will hopefully be fun, but I'm going to be very limited to what I can do because I can't go on any rides, so I'm going to be the uh, photographer for this evening, getting photos of other people having fun. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go and buy toffee apples and play, uh, catch the goldfish, stuff like that. <laughs> so it'll be alright. But um, yeah, I was wondering about putting some work in to do with Fated. So if any of you watching this have got an opinion on that, I'd really like to hear it, whether you think I should or shouldn't. Um, but yeah, I'm also thinking of putting the cat flat books up for sale in the library as well, just for that month that I have the exhibition up. Again, um, it'd be really good if I could hear your opinions on it. So, um, I'd like to say a big happy birthday to Blondie and Ben, who had their birthday um, in April, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was in April. Uh, there's another cat flap birthday coming up, which is very special to me. Um, my partner Sam, otherwise known as Cat Cook, is turning 22 this year. So on the 28th of May, it would be really good if you guys could all message him and just say happy birthday. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot more birthday cat flat drawings to do. Anyway, um, again, see you later. And yeah, if you could get back to me with your opinions or anything you want to say, any questions ready for the next vlog, then that'd be cool. So, ciao!